By the time help arrived, it was too late for many who lived here, including children. But even after the last body was found, neighbors continue to dig through the rubble in the hope of salvaging what they can. The residents described what happened. All of a sudden, I just saw the bulk of mud and palm trees uprooted from the stump. The mud which fell destroyed these three houses, which caused the death of six people. The destruction, also leaving many here homeless. We live here because this is where we manage to pay cheaper rent. I don't have the money to pay for an expensive house. Emergency workers say two more people were killed in Freetown as a result of the torrential rains. An evacuation order has now been issued. So our presence here today with EPA and other agencies is to actually continue assessing the risks around and advise other households within this area to voluntarily relocate whilst the NDMA and other agencies work modalities in place to get the other handing boulders down so that we could prevent them um, for the disaster. President Julius Mahadebio issued a statement sending condolences to affected families. He once described Sierra Leone as the world's third most vulnerable nation when it comes to the impact of climate change. Yet despite a government ban five years ago, people continue to build settlements in disaster-prone areas in and around Freetown. As seen here, the consequences can be fatal. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera.